Namaste and welcome to React Bits. Flutter team have just announced Flutter 1.17 and I'm here to talk what's new. The Flutter 1.17 is the latest stable version release and it's the first stable release in 2020. In this release, the major focus was on performance. So just by upgrading to this release and building your existing app using this release, you should see 20 to 37 percent improvement in default navigations animation and there is around 70 percent memory reduction in fast scrolling through large images list of large images and app size reduction due to various fixes that were implemented in this release also in ios the metal support improves the performance by almost 50%. Not only this, this release brings few other changes like the one you can see in my screen. The text theme. The text theme is now aligned with the new material design spec but thing to remember is they have not yet removed the old implementation so that old apps will still work but the world text styling has been deprecated. You can see in my screen that I have headline 1 to headline 6 in Flutter is aligned with H1 to H6 in material design text theming spec. Also with this release now Flutter create has the only Android X option. The old support library has been removed in the new projects. Old projects still keep on working but it is recommended to upgrade to Android X. And there are lots of other changes, so much, some of which are widget changes like this, text theming. I'll be showing you some of the changes. Now, first of all, there is a new navigation rail widget. This widget is for those who want to quickly switch their app between desktop and mobile form and this navigation rail widget is quickly swappable with bottom navigation widget so in the large screen you can use navigation rail widget that shows a sidebar menu like this and in a small screen you can hide this and you can show bottom navigation bar instead and it has a similar API like next date and time picker have improved so previously we had only so date picker so time picker dialogues to pick date and time but with this new release we have two new widgets first one is you can see here calendar date picker so calendar date picker shows a fully functional calendar that you can use that you can display in any of your widgets so this has a year picker and a month picker and finally a day picker so once i pick the day it is updated down here you can see so the api of this calendar date picker is exactly similar to the show date picker dialog so we need to provide first date, last date, initially selected date and on date changed. Next for the date picker, there is a date picker form field, input date picker form field for those of you who want to include a date picker field in their forms. So input date picker form field and it also has a similar API first date last date initial date and the on date submitted and on date saved from flutter form field these are two new improvements in date picker and date picker library another they have released a animations package if you have not already been through this news this was released a bit earlier and this animator package 
contains some of the default animations that you can easily use in your project without much changes. Also, the Google Fonts package version 1.10 has been released. Now you can easily use Google Fonts, easily swap and test multiple Google Fonts in your mobile application. And when you are finally ready, you can include the Google Fonts directly in your package or directly in your pub spec as an asset so that it will not be downloaded in the runtime. It is highly useful while you are testing the looks of app using different fonts. You do not have to download and include each fonts to try and test how it looks in your app. You can just use the Google Fonts package. Finally, to get the complete list of changes, what have what has been improved, what has been implemented, you can go to the Flutter community blog post announcing Flutter 1.17. The link will be provided in the description below as well as if you want to see the complete list of changes or pull requests that were merged in Flutter 1.17, you can go to the Flutter dev change log for 1.17. You can get the complete list of pull requests that were merged in this release right here. The link is provided in the description below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Give a thumbs up if you like my videos, subscribe and share.